Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. In uh, this video, let's speak a bit about um, third-party data in uh, TradingView. And I receive quite a lot of questions. Can you use it or not, um, third-party data in uh, TradingView? And short answer is, not, is, is not, you cannot. But there is one exception and uh, there is one trick I, can, uh, sh I will show you in this video. So let's start with exception. Basically, in Trinu, you can use um, data sets from Quandle. So Quandle is a very, very nice um, source of the data sets you can find here in thousands and millions of different data sets for like uh, uh, kind of economical data, fundamentals, uh, like really quite a lot of stuff. And um, uh, basically, you can use uh, free data sets from Quandle. And here, for example, I have an example. For, for example, if you want to use like cash settled cheese futures, continuous contract, what you can do is you can just copy your bundle code for, for this data set, then goes, go to uh, your training view to a simple selector, uh, type quandle, and then past your uh, quandle code. Press enter, and here you can see this is your um, uh, cheese continuous futures. Um, it looks a bit weird. I'm not sure how uh, useful they are, but anyway, as you can see, it works very nicely. And what you can do, you can also use kind of the same uh, symbol like uh, like that in your um, Pinescript code and uh, to get data inside your Pinescript. And after that, you can use this data to uh, kind of make a bit more complicated analysis of it if you want. And um, uh, what, what can you do if uh, you cannot find data you need or on, on Quantel? Uh, is, is there other ways to do that? So there is one trick that can allow you to use um, uh, data with uh, kind of uh, low frequency data. So what I mean by that? So here, for example, I have an example. So um, um, I have like a task to calculate S&P market capitalization. So how can you do that? So to do that, you need to multiply your S&P index to uh, S&P divider. And um, of course, I have access to S&P index, no problem, but I don't think S&P divider is available on TradingView or uh, on Quandle. So uh, what I can do with it? So what you can do is you can actually simulate uh, your data in your code. So uh, S&P divider is quarterly data. So um, what I can do is I can kind of manually to create my variable with this value is based on a date. So as you can see, I did first I define my variable to be not available. And after that, for every quarter, I insert a certain value. And in the end, I will receive uh, like, um, like a variable and Let's plot the chart so you can see. So here, here you can see that basically you have some values for every quarter. It seems to work. And after that, if I want to calculate um, uh, like S&P market capitalization, I just can multiply it by black like index. And uh, and here I have my um, S&P market capitalization in, um, in, in, in trillions of dollars. So as you can see, it's possible to some extent to use third-party data by simulating it in the code. Issue is that it's a bit time consuming to do this all this stuff manually. So um, what you can do is you can actually create like a small script in another language, programming language to create uh, this code for you. So I uh, here have a small example in, uh, in R and let's, uh, let's run it to see how it looks. So here I created like a small data set. So basically it has like monthly data for um, for 20 years and I have like just random numbers for now. And I have like a small kind of loop that goes uh, through all for every kind of row of my data set. And it create basically a line for um, for my um, kind of this line for my for training you. And um, let's just run it to see how it looks. So as you can see, we have a bunch of lines of code. What you can do now is you can just copy this data uh, to your um, training view editor. Just I will replace my data, data section and I will plot data instead of um, S&P market cap. Just let's save it and see how it looks. It, it's not a very nice way to work with Pinescape because it's not made for this kind of stuff. So it actually, actually can take quite a lot of time for 
uh, points keep to understand what's going on and to compute everything so as you can see it seems to work pretty nicely now we have like monthly custom data third-party data in Pinescript. now we can use uh, this data variable later in your analysis to uh, to compute something more complicated uh, but as you can see it, it works of course it won't work for like i don't know like lower time frames if you want like to display like daily data for like a few years it might not work for you because it's it uh, Pinescript has some sort of limitations on a number of like uh, lines in, in in your code and a number okay it can be really very really slow and you can actually hit like um time limit for um for your skip creation but actually this is sort of a way to if you have like lower time frame data actually you can insert something like that if you know any other ways to um, use a third party data in training you let me know in comments um, but i think that's all for this video thank you for watching bye